<laughs> okay, good morning from the final round, third round of OIDC. It's been a busy three weeks, right? Especially the last Very week. Busy three or four days. <laughs> <laughs> We've worked hard, but Mikey, let's yeah. have a look. After our big crash -oo. For anyone that doesn't know, Mikey, I went to school with Mikey. Um, Back in the day, we grew up together, yeah. getting ourselves in all, all sorts of uh, trouble. But his a uh, panel beater by trade. We'll check out your work. Two days work, we had to fix this thing that was in an absolute mess. Huge thanks to the guys at 300 Performance for letting us work in the car here. We have her as good as we can get her. Give yeah, it a quick shot of paint in there too. She's not 100% but it's 90. Couple of tail lights now. Definitely looking a lot better than the way she came off the track. Do small bits to tidy it up tomorrow and we'll be brand new. Just after finishing, quick string alignment on the car after the smash. Uh, nice and squared up again. Look, a few battle scars, but it looks a lot better than it did. Gonna take the string kit off now, drive it around the paddock and see if it's driving straight. Uh, no functioning suspension power again, yeah. which was in here on Twister. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we now have a firewall, it's a firewall again that doesn't have massive holes. Massive holes are kings. Uh, so we have a makeshift body kit still, <laughs> thanks to the Kevlar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she came actually, back together with a lot of work. And we actually have a spoiler that's upright again and not 90 degrees. And it's the same BCL wing, yeah. it literally, the wing can, totally folded flat on itself down here. You can even see the brackets where we were like hammering them and, and bending it, but everything came back into yeah. shape and it looks from a distance like the same car. She's still so, pretty. Yeah, yeah oh, it's still, still gonna look perfect on the live stream, it's gonna look perfect on video. Uh, it's got some battle scars and a new story to tell, so I'm very happy. Huge thanks to Mikey, huge thanks to Michael, huge thanks to the guys at 300 Performance for the use of the workshop. Um, I'm feeling good, next stiffness is gone. Uh, we are ready to absolutely send it. See what happens. Can't wait. Yep. So final round here, practice is about to start. New track layout again. It's uh, similar to the first round, but we're going back in to use the wall as an inner clip again, and it's actually a bit tighter than last weekend. So um, it's going to be tight for the chase car, but it's going to be interesting. We'll, we'll give it our best, I'm excited. So very, very thankful to have the car back. Let's hope it feels the same uh, while driving, but we've already done string alignment and it's square and it's ready to go, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Doesn't even feel like I've hit a curb while parking. She is perfect, feels spot on. So uh, we adjusted the setup a bit. Um, they tried to take some of the jumping out of the car and uh, playing with anti roll bars, playing with springs. And uh, I think at the moment we have it 
at its most comfortable. So it's, it's very nice to drive. Track is tricky, very, very tricky. First inner wall clip is awkward because it's totally blind when you're coming onto it. And uh, you got a way shorter transition, the transition to the second corner. And then heading for the third corner, the track is kind of falling away from you downhill so you can't see the line until you're on the track. So it, it's challenging, but uh, it's the same for everyone. Let's keep it going and uh, hopefully we have a good qualifying coming up next. perfectly to plan. Uh, I made a small mistake after the first transition. Um, so as I wrapped around the inner wall clip, flicked it back. Bit of a slow rotation there, but very happy. 95 points on the board in the first lap. This girl is singing, she's feeling great, and uh, ready to do it all again in a minute. At S14.9, looked a lot different when I left here last week, but it's back in perfect working order. And here we go, James Dean throws it in. Huge initiation right on that back for that white line as we see him putting foot to floor absolutely running the front bumper off the wall this is unbelievable driving from the Irishman as he comes back around now for the transition through his own smoke along the wall dragging the spoiler this is beautiful driving from James Dean but will it be enough to top qualifying as we see him come around the last corner and over the finish line at 360 for the crowd so it's game day here final round of the championship we qualified second last night with uh, two 95 point runs the Nick Knack got 96 so he got the win big well done to Nick Knack and uh, yeah, car is ready for today we uh, team went through the car really well last night, double checking a few things. It's perfect, it feels perfect after the crash. It feels spot on, so I'm ready to go, I'm excited. And uh, yeah, let's give it our best. Stick that in the middle there. Wrapped up for practice. Uh, it went very well overall. We had an impact with Sebastian Fontaine in our first chase run. He broke two axles. I had nowhere to go, so I hit him pretty hard. Uh, bent the toe arm a little bit and pushed in the quarter panel. Quite a bit. So it's all good. Car is working mechanically perfect, so that's all that really matters. Practice is still going, but I'm going to call it now because the car is working well. Not going to risk any more crashes or anything else until we're into the actual competition. So I'm happy with my leads, I'm happy with my chases. We'll call it, I think you, you've done enough work this week. <laughs> yeah, we've got a pen beat jobs all really Yeah, but it's running absolutely perfect. We've not had to touch the engine ones. Um, everything is sweet. So, just call it, double check everything before top 32. And uh, hopefully this evening it goes well. So yeah, we're going out there in top 32. Uh, if we get through that, I'll be up against potentially Nassar uh, in the crazy S13 that we had to fire with at round one. So, let's see how it all goes. Uh, we're gonna push hard. We have a strong championship lead, so uh, hopefully we can clinch that tonight. It'll be a brilliant way to start 24. Yeah, we're gonna push hard, so fingers crossed, let's hope for a good day. Let's see what happens here as both cars leave the line. James to lead, Dennis to chase. 
Here they go, James, with a huge initiation. Right there on that outer line. Dennis, a small bit on the inside, but he is right there with him, trying to stick that Corvette on the door of James Dean. James carrying huge angle through that inside clip. As we see Dennis now throwing it up on his door. James on an absolute ideal lead line but Dennis is right there with him as they start to come into the last corner now a small bit of proximity starting to form his machine puts the foot to the floor and brings it over the line but Dennis Miguel is not too far away it goes green and away they go Dennis Miguel was fast out of chicane he's trying to get the jump on James but James Dean with so much experience in the chase position look at this from James tucking right in there beside him but Dennis is on a lovely lead line now as they come through both front bumpers on the wall pure commitment from both drivers as they come out now to transition for the last time getting ready to throw it up back of the car to the wall wall run from both drivers this is absolutely insane Dennis possibly dropping one wheel there but James Dean is right with him as he brings it over the line so we're into the top 16, very, very happy with that. Uh, we had a battle with Dennis. He drove a good lead, uh, we chased him hard, and I drove a good chase. He chased us very well too, but overall I think I had a little bit more speed, a bit more angle, and a bit of a nicer chase. So we got into the top 16, I felt quite relaxed for actually battling top 32. I was a little bit concerned about the grip level on the track, but in general it felt good. Becky, how are you? Excited. Last last event. Hard to believe we're here three weeks. I know, it's gone so quick. Yeah. I can't actually believe that we've been here that long. It feels like... Gone. Gone. Just like that. Oh, crash again. Oh, oh no. What happened here? That's my truck driver. Riyadh. Let's see the replay. It came in too fast. The sunlight's in our eyes, initiating. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, back again. It's close to getting the championship. Uh, I think we need to apparently, apparently, get into top eight. So there'll be a bit of pressure in the next battle. Um, who am I battling? I'm battling. Sorry, I'm battling Nassar. So, guy we battled. Uh, yeah, with the oh yeah, with, yeah, with the fire at round one. So, he's fast. He's aggressive, and uh, so are we. So let's see what happens. What do you think? Fingers crossed. Fingers. You always do your, do you do your, you do them over the top, yeah. Well, yeah, do they I not? do it the other way. There you go. <laughs> Just knock them. <laughs> also, Chris is in top 16, Chris Brady. So two Irish flags in the top 16, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, we're very happy, so let's give it our best. To try and stick it on the door of James Dean. Away they go, look at this, James coming down, lovely initiation, but that was right there with him, huge angle. Both guys on a near perfect line through that first zone. But look at Nazareth Harbal, he's stuck right on the door of James Dean. Small bit of contact as they transition now. This is exactly what we expected to see from both these absolute legendary drifters. Oh, Nazareth is right there with him. It's a massive transition again. James puts the back of the car out to the wall. James Dean on a near perfect line. And Nazareth Harbal, he right. championship but there's a high chance that we've already taken it but we're just doing the event like it's any event uh, battling the ham next in the top eight his second in the championship so if we win this we definitely have it uh, if we don't I think we have it so I'm not sure it's all looking good it's a really good night the battles are amazing the crowd is packed it's the busiest event so far it's a great atmosphere running not many crashes it's really, really good. So, fingers crossed we can keep it going. I want to have fun with it. And uh, chase hard. We had blasted some doors in the last battle with Nasser. It was really good. 
and uh, yeah, let's keep it going. All right, all right. Away we go, James Lee to Ham to chase. It's the tear down the straight, throwing it in. Huge flick from James Dean. But oh, James Dean goes wide. No, Ahmed, the ham is right there with him. I thought they were going to make contact. The ham doing a great job. Now Dean doing whatever he can, trying to get this car back on a perfect lead line. As we see him now pushing around. The ham is stuck there. A wall run from Dean. The ham knocking on his door as they come through the last outer zone. This was absolutely insane. I did not expect that at the start. about to happen in this one more time. Lights go green, away they go. James Dean the lead, Ahmed Ham the chase. So we see Dean flicking it in, but Ahmed Ham right there with him. James pushing the back wheel right on the outer line, doing exactly as he's asked in the driver's briefing. But Ahmed Ham is right there with him, knocking on Dean's door as they come through the inner clip, pushing as hard as possible, door to door. Ham takes his front bumper off Dean's wheel. Both guys stay in and keep going. Beautiful transition from Dean. Daham needs to put pressure on. He needs to get closer. Has to come around the last corner and over the... Before we send him off for the last time, Ahmed Daham to lead. James Dean to chase. Throwing it in. Beautiful initiation. Ahmed Daham is on a lovely lead line, but James Dean is right there with him, knocking on the door of Daham as they put boom bumpers on the wall yet again. So much bravery, so much talent on this track right now as we see them coming through transitioning for the last time out to the wall the ham running the back bumper on the wall james dean knocking on his door as they come through the last zone look at that from the drone shot james dean pushing up green away they go the ham to lead dean to chase as they come down the straight throwing it in look at james dean he's right there with him but Ahmed Daham is on a beautiful line. This is nearly a mirror of every other time we've seen this tonight. As we see them come through the centre section, massive transition. Both guys glued together. You would nearly say there was magnets pulling these cars together. They're so close. How did James Dean do that transition? Ahmed Daham on a beautiful lead line, but James Dean is right there with him. Pushing him around that last corner and over the finish. Stressful out here. That was intense. Oh my God, uh, crazy battle with the ham. We're one and two in the championship and we win two one more times. Crazy, I was really happy with my, uh, my chase runs. Felt really dialed, felt aggressive. And uh, I thought we had it in the middle run, but they went one more time. So we're like, okay, let's reset, refocus. Chased them hard again in the last one. And we just had more proximity, bigger chances, and uh, got the win. I'm exhausted. That was, it's hot here, it's hard work. Hard. But we're into top four, and we're the champion. Yeah, it's legit. Is that legit? <laughs> yeah, legit. We have won a championship Woo! again. Thank God. Thank you, Becky. Thank you, all our team. Thank you, all our partners. Oh. Right, have some water, have some hard I, I, Yeah, like, I don't have the energy to express my emotions, but okay. I'm happy. What's about to happen? Well, we're about to find out. James leaves the line, the lead possession, but Charbez tucking right in there behind him. Big initiation from both guys. You see James on a beautiful line. Charbez now starting to close the gap as they come through the first corner, putting his front wheel right on James's door. It's the transition. Oh, beautiful transition from both guys. How did Charbez not make contact in the chase position? We see them now coming back to transition out to the wall beautiful turbo runs a spoiler on the wall but maybe gets a little bit too far in it which gives james a chance to push <laughs>
final in three weeks and a championship. Not bad. It's going okay. Oh my god. Yeah, run with Shirva. Third time battling him. I feel sorry for him because I know he can do it. Um, I know he can do it. My shouting. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I saw Becky just backing up. I know he can do it. He's fast, he's aggressive, he's everything. But he just made a couple of mistakes. I made a couple of mistakes too, but overall, less. And uh, But he's still on it. I think he can get on the podium. He deserves it. Um, we're into the finals. I think battling uh, Ali McSheed. Yeah, so from last week's crash. Uh, in top four, we're now battling each other in the finals. So I'm gonna sit down for a minute because my energy ain't great, but I'm happy. Very happy. Very proud of the team, you, everyone that's helped. What did you do? I did the. You're feeding me and watering me and making sure I'm in bed by and, and 4 p.m. I um I I Jack Car. Ah! This is me every drift event because. <laughs> Just trying to pretend everything's okay. Everything's okay! I've seen more things tonight than I've seen in drifting, but we've got one more battle, and here it is. James to lead, Ali to chase. Dean throws it in, Ali Maxid's right there with him. James Dean on a beautiful lead line, but Ali Maxid is not letting him get away as they come through the inner cliff, front bumpers on the wall, transitioning for the outer zone. Ali is knocking on Dean's door as they come through to transition for the last time out to the wall. Coming around the last corner, filling the outer zone. This is absolute a drift masterclass from James Dean and Ali. Chances, very difficult track with the smoke. Uh, <laughs> taking the chances through the smoke uh, while chasing, but we did it. I think we got the win. It's not official yet. We definitely won the championship, so I'm so happy about that. I'm so proud of the team and all of us. So let's just see what happens, and we'll wrap it up after. But what a what a three weeks.
here we are. So, so happy to get the championship win. Won the event as well tonight. Uh, I think we had it wrapped up as soon as we got into top eight. So, it wasn't easy. A lot of hard fought battles, uh, but the car performed flawlessly. The team absolutely killed it. And I'm exhausted because that was hard, it was hot. Busy three weeks back to back to back and a hugely busy week in the middle as well with repairing the car. But huge thanks to the lads. Michael, you're a legend. Mike, you're a legend. Chris, thanks for coming for the support. Thank you as well. And uh, where's Becky? Becky! Yeah! Yeah! Well done, well done. Thank you, but yeah, Becky as well. I don't know where she is. Thank you, lads. Well done to Chris as well. Awesome driving tonight. And uh, I am ready for a rest. Absolutely exhausted, but super happy. Huge thanks to Becky as well for supporting me here. It's great to have her a part of it. And uh, thank you, man. He's been getting the cool shots behind the scenes. Congrats. Thank you, man. Thank you. So, yeah. Right, let's have a rest. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you all soon.